In this lecture, we are going to create a home view for the Avocados app. Select the Avocados view in the project navigator. Embed the text view into a vStack. Then add one spacer above and one below the text. This will expand the vStack vertically up and down to the safe area. Next, add a background modifier to the vStack. Inside it, create a new image view and fetch the background image. This image is quite large enough to fill the whole iPhone screen, but we need to scale it properly. So add the following modifier to the image. Resizable and aspect ratio, content mode, let it be fill. As you see, the background image filled up the full safe area. Our next goal is to expand it outside the safe zone. Enter edges ignoring safe area, then all. Nice. It works like a charm. After creating this nice grungy background, we will add an avocado to the view. Insert a new image view above the text view and fetch the avocado image. As you notice, this is a huge image with transparent background. We need to shrink it down. Add the following modifier to the view. Resizable and aspect ratio, then content mode, let it be fill. The resizable modifier allow us to shrink down the image. And the aspect ratio will prevent to distort it. After that, enter frame width 240 and height 240. Finally, we are going to add a nice dark shadow behind the avocado, which will pop it up from the background. The radius is 12. We won't move it in horizontally, but in vertically by 8 points. By commenting out and in the shadow, you can see the differences clearly. This fine detail make our design much better. With a delicate animation, it would be even better, you will see. We are going to continue our work on the title. Add the following modifier to the text. Font, System, 42. The weight will be bold and the design, which is the font type by the way, will be serif. This beautiful new serif system font, which is called New York, was introduced in iOS 13. The foreground color will be white. Around the text there is a default padding. Of course that it will get a shadow, but this time it will be smaller than the avocado's shadow. Next, embed the title in a vStack, hence we are going to add an introductory marketing content below it and we want to keep this text together. Open a new finder window and navigate to the resources folder. Inside it, there is a folder called data. Open it, find the avocados text file and open it as well. Select the whole text and copy to the clipboard. Then close the finder window. Go back to the avocados view Swift UI file and create a new text view below the title inside the vStack. Paste the content inside it. Now we will do something new. In order to format our text, we need to change this text and create a multi-line string literal with three double quotation marks. Our goal is to separate the first sentence from the other part of the text with a break. You can use empty lines too, if you wish. Then add some modifiers to the text. Line limit, nil. Font, system. Size, headline. And its font design is serif. For the text color, we choose the light green one. 
Then we center the whole text in the view. Almost done, but one thing is still missing in my opinion. What about to add a line spacing with 8 points? It looks much better now. Because we want our text to look good in iPads as well, that's why we add a 640 points max width to it. Since dealing with multi-line strings in the SwiftUI framework is sometimes problematic, therefore we add 120 points minimum height. I wish that SwiftUI could handle the multi-line text views better in the future. Alright, add a default padding around the V stack. This spacing will improve the overall appearance of the view. Next, we will test our design in dark mode in the canvas preview. Let the preview device to be iPhone 11 Pro. Then we add a new environment modifier to the preview. Enter. Color, shim and choose the dark mode. As you see, the green background changed to blue background. What's better than test it on your real device or in the simulator? We can do it even better because Xcode 11 has a new built-in environment testing feature. Click on the Environment Overrides button and turn on the Interface Style option. There we can turn on the light or the dark mode. In the last part of this lecture, we are going to add a new animation to the view and make it more impressive. Let's enter a new comment block at the top of the avocado's view extract. Then we need to create a new variable for the pulsate animation. The value of the boolean var will be false, so it won't be active right away. Next step, go to the end of the vStack and add the following modifier to it. On appear, perform. Inside the parentheses, enter self pulsate animation toggle. This will start the animation only when the view is already loaded into the window. After this, go to the avocado image and add the following modifier to the view. Scale effect, self, pulsate animation, question mark 1, column 0 0.9, which means that the avocado's size is smaller initially, but when the pulsate animation starts, it will scale up to its previously given size. Next, we will animate the opacity as well. Opacity, self, pulsate animation, question mark, 1, column, 0 0.9. This way the image will be slightly transparent, but later on it will be full opaque. The only thing that is still missing is the actual animation command. Animation, animation, ease in out, Duration 1.5, repeat forever, auto reverses true. It's quite self explanatory. The duration of the animation is 1.5 seconds and it will be repeated forever with the auto reverse movement, respectively. Let's start the live preview in the canvas. As it's expected, the avocado is animating in a slow pulsating style. We can even switch from light mode to dark mode by commenting out the environment modifier in the preview section. See? Just one more thing. I think that the title should be uppercased. It looks much better now. Let's test the finished home view in the simulator. Alright, finally the app is launched and we can take a look at the current stage of our work. In the following lectures, we are going to create the avocado recipes view, then the ripening view. Finally, we will cut a gentle introduction to creating forms with SwiftUI. See you at the lesson.